Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters. Chile grillers want to make sure you buy New Mexico chiles. They're really from New Mexico. The New Mexico Department of Agriculture is in the middle of chile blaze around the state. They inspect paperwork to make sure processed and fresh chile products comply with the New Mexico Chile Advertising Act. It's new law that means any chile advertisement is from New Mexico must have a paper trail that tracks the chile's origin from growth until sale. The chile, the chile blaze is happening right in the middle of the chile harvest. So News 22 Marlene Barraza went to the Hatch Chili Festival to check it out. It's like so beautiful, you can kind of smell that, and even as we're just driving in, we're like, oh man, this is like exciting. Alicia traveled all the way from San Jose, California to the chili capital of the world to get some authentic chilies. Where you grow a plant affects its flavor. Director of the Chili Pepper Institute, Dr. Bosland, says the more environmental stress, the better the flavor. And New Mexico has the perfect amount of stress. Growing chilies in New Mexico, you get a little different flavor than you do if you grew them in California or Iowa or New York. And so New Mexico chili does have a unique flavor. But some people say their chilies are from New Mexico when they're not. This fools consumers and also hurts those who grow and harvest them. Este afecta mucho. It affects farmers and the work labor a lot. The work labor is ending because the big companies prefer to plant in Mexico. And what happens? People are out of work. And the New Mexico Chili Advertising Act is designed to make sure chilies marketed as from New Mexico are really from New Mexico. So how does one identify real or fake chili? We not only asked a chili expert about this hot topic, but we also asked them to identify a true New Mexican chili. To know if it's grown in New Mexico or not, it's a little harder because there's no way to tell. Uh, it's very, very hard to tell where that fruit is produced. But the new law requires processors, growers, and anyone who works with the New Mexico Green Chili to register with the New Mexico Department of Agriculture. They fill out a form telling where the chili was grown and the paper trail follows the chili all the way through the process. You can ask for help finding the specific chili you want and pay attention to when you buy them. We don't begin to harvest New Mexico green chili until the last week of July, and it's usually done by end of October. So if somebody's selling you New Mexico fresh green chili in January, it wasn't grown here. So don't let the chili fakes fool you. No, I was not aware of that at all. So I was like, oh, okay, well, that's good to know. And keep you from eating the chili New Mexico has to offer. Marlene Barraza, News 22. Serving Southern New Mexico, this is the award-winning KRWG-TV News 22, where news matters.